Students living in the Alumni Village apartments produce garbage just like the rest of Purchase College's residents. Garbage that is apparently attractive to wildlife. Large cat size. Large cat size? Like a yeah. really fat cat. Probably like, they're pretty big. Unlike other living spaces on campus, Alumni Village houses more than just college students. Raccoons live there as well. According to wildlife experts, the average raccoon grows to three feet long and weighs between 15 and 40 pounds. Residents said the raccoons are... They're huge. I saw them last year when they were like little tiny babies and now they've all grown up, so they're like about this big. <laughs> Some students said that the raccoons come out of the sewer in the evening and scavenge food from the, the garbage in the nearby dumpsters. School officials said they received no complaints about the raccoons other than they cause mess in the dumpsters, a problem for the college's garbage men. I don't think it's so good that they're uh, making the people who have to pick up the garbage's uh, job a lot harder. Other students don't consider the raccoons' foraging habits a problem. We brought them into our environment. They lived here first, and we built the campus around their forest. So if they're coming up to people, that's honestly what it means is they've gotten used to people coming around them. So I wouldn't be worried about a diseased animal. I'd be worried about us treating the raccoons correctly and showing them where their you know, territory is compared to our territory. Some students described the raccoons as friendly. One said that she and her boyfriend had watched a family of raccoons and named the smaller ones. An international student, Cyril Daudel, said she saw her first raccoon in Alumni Village. I had never seen a raccoon before I came to America. And uh, the first time I saw one from really close, it was uh, the one that I said that I saw up in the tree, a really skinny tree with no leaves, and he was, <laughs> he was there, and we were just standing down uh, of the tree for like, for like uh, 15 minutes, and then when we moved away, he, he went down, and he would look at us, and he looked like a cartoon uh, with his little black mask looking through the, through the branches. It was fun. One student saw a raccoon with a pie tin and other assorted scavenged food laid out on the ground eating a raccoon picnic. This has been Tony Sullivan, Purchase College Student Television.